cloud. I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. Cloud, I have come up with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat obtuse. Please let me know when you have made your preparations. for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. Then I invite you to ready your portable battle simulator.
outstanding. The Shiva summoning materia is complete. And now it's yours. Use it as you see fit. The Lady of Frost is the perfect companion for a man like you, Cloud. She will prove most useful when the time comes to destroy Shinra. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. He promised to take me to see the reactor. Man, my front door. That's what's called easy money. She couldn't have finished yet. Big scheme, a bunch of oh, here for a check -up? Did you know? Aaron is such a sweetheart. Exactly! They're what give the local cuisine the flavor you can't find anywhere. I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel stuff. Hey. My life's a bit on the I can't leave without telling her. SAD screws are in high demand. You heard what they said on the now you can handle yourself. Got what you need to stay safe? Materia, no life. Man, the hinges on my foot. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about what happens to Mrs. Oh, yeah? And then what's with the bitch? He won't stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. I don't have all day. See ya. Oh. Mm -hmm. I 
I remember you. Where's Aerith? The Leaf House. Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. Don't get up, up please. I'm scared of the doggy. Oh, it'd be great if they asked us again. off limits to grown-ups but if we want to rescue them well we gotta break the rules Oats! you're back Aerith's come to help yeah leave it to us we'll take care of it from here but there are monsters out there don't worry I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. You guys have got to hurry and find our friends. They ran off this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. <laughs> Let's finish this. You're mine. Going in. <laughs> Nothing to it. Get back. I can fight too. <laughs> Your time. Let's finish this. You're dead. Try to stay behind me. You're done. Stay back! <laughs> 
You're done. Just, just go away! Going in. Let's finish this. See ya. Let's do this. It's over. Get him! It's over. You're mine. Go on! Let's do this. Soldier. He was? Did you go fight in the war? I might have. <laughs> you sure you want to fight? <laughs> You're mine. Go on. <laughs> Going One in. One more shot. <laughs> Let's go. Grow up to be a soldier like you. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that. Oh, yeah! Yeah. It was really cool, and you went like. Yeah! Yeah! You've got it all wrong. Yeah! Like that. No way. It was way faster than that. Yeah! Yeah! Like that. Fine. Then how about. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Like that. Isn't that right, Cloud? Isn't that right, Cloud? Tifa, wait! Tifa! Tifa! Tifa. 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 T
Antifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain it. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. <laughs> There's nothing to fear. <laughs> Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. Come on, let's go. Then you must be from the legendary... The legendary... Hey, Cloud! I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. don't you think? Great job. That's wonderful. <sighs> Isn't it? Oh, I nearly forgot. I saw some Shinra suit walking toward your house a little while ago. He was dressed all in black. A little scary looking. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. 
Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. Don't take it personal. <laughs> you Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get back! Stay back! on standby for a job at something about uh, Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so. Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that.
You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay? Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow and tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Stay my welcome. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning. And I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. Jerk! I thought I told you not to leave your room. Now get back in there. Okay. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you.
look at that. I'm almost sober. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. <laughs> nothing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6. Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. Now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Wanna see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. <laughs> Let's do That's this. It.
Guess I gotta. It's on now. Going in. One more shot. And we're safe. What's that? A big arm. Kinda cute, don't you think? Uh. Oh great. Someone's pulled up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. It's this way. Here's an idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Trucking. Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment. Protect you. I'm pretty good at protecting myself, you know. Let's do this. I bet you can grab that container with the arm.
Not half bad. So do you moonlight as a crane operator or something? <laughs> yeah? So tough. Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Jumping's not an option, that's for sure. Hmm. Look. Hmm? Someone made a campfire. They found a way down. So can we. Thank <laughs> you. 
Whoa, not too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Mm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit! Doing crimes! <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Compliment and composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, uh, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due... Do recompense? Uh, no, shit, for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh... uh, uh compensatory damages. Uh, so damages recompense, I guess. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, guys. Whatever you do, don't move. I'm dead. I'm super dead. Shit! Let's get the hell out of here! Wait, hey, you guys! Don't leave me! I'm coming! Random question, but why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Uh. Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? <laughs> Fresh music just turned to a toy. <laughs> 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 Okay, Cloud. Heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it? It's this way.
gotcha.
for you in a sec. Well, sure did. <laughs> uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just? Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Okay. Hold it right there, love bird. You want to pass through our territory? <laughs> We're done. We made it. Smell the fresh air. All right, there it is. The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... Up there looks nice. <sighs> Come on! You know, a long time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <sighs> Gotta look forward, not back. Won't take long. Ready. 
Want to get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. <laughs> Guess this is it, then. Ready? Yeah. going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh, no, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Okay. Come on, Cloud. We gotta hurry. to a girl earlier. Do you have any idea where she went? No, and if you don't need a ride, then get the hell out of here. Can't you see I'm trying to work? Can't say I can, no. What'd you say to me, you little... <laughs> What's all the ruckus out here? Hmm. I don't know you. What's your story? We're looking for a girl who took one of your carriages. Can you help us find her? Depends. What do you want with this girl of yours? Guess. We want to save... Save her from a life without this handsome guy. Huh? So, that's how it is, huh? Well, I get a lot of customers. Hard to keep track of them all. This girl, what's she look like? Well... She's in great shape. Is that really important? Wait a minute. You talking about Tifa? That's her. <laughs> oh, looks like someone's got a bit of a crush. Hate to break your heart, kid, but it's gonna be a long while before she sees the light of day again. What do you mean? She's a real pretty girl. Corneo's hosting another audition, and Tifa was chosen as a candidate. An audition for what? For the title of the next Mrs. Corneo. She's what he likes all rolled into one sweet package. Having scouted girls for so long, I know his tastes better than my own. And considering those tastes, I can guarantee you this. 
She won't be walking out of that mansion anytime soon, if at all. So where can we find this Don Corneo? <laughs> what are you asking for? Thinking of raising holy hell or something? Do what you gotta, but leave me out of it. I told you what you want to know. Now take a walk. Uh, and there goes our best lead yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll have better luck in town. Let's check it out. Welcome to Wall Market, the pleasure capital of Midgar that's got everything for everybody. Couple, huh? It's all good. Play together, do your own thing, earn a little stretch on the side even. Whatever you're into, we got you. Got a special one-time limited offer. No, thank you. Come on, Cloud. Let's go. Check it out. Uh... I think we might have found our man, and he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Dung's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? Kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on, can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're going to need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madame M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. If you're hell-bent on getting in, then go bother the trio. Aerith, you sure about this? If you've got any better ideas... Not really. So that's the way it is. Hmm. Tifa's been invited into the Don's estate. Huh? But to earn such a privilege, you must first win the approval of one of the trio. Right? Meaning, I now know what I must do to save her. St 
Stay strong, Tifa! Help is on the way! Johnny's coming, baby! <laughs> Not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? It was like... Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry but there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, hear us out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty, please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Cornell will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Guess right, and I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> Guess wrong, and you'll leave me in peace. Heads. Tails. Hey, don't look so blunt. You're a pretty enough gal. It's not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio, and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. 
trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating! And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. Still cheating. two of you step right up now then what manner of massage do you desire say what is this your first time in our establishment mm -hmm. we are a hand massage parlor an excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain it is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional so now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don... Oh, love of... Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. <sighs> uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services, then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Well? <laughs> hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well-to-do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, oh. oh did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see if we can't improve your circulation and get that blood flowing. No, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> That was to your liking. Do come again. Right. <sighs> How was it? Huh? You okay? Yeah. 
You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm... Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate for in such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? It's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? Hmm. <laughs> You just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. There any prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. gotten ourselves into nothing good I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town think we can win it all that's one thing I'm definitely sure of I appreciate the confidence just don't get too cocky okay hey I'm talking to you I said they're good the doors are now open for tonight's Spectators, Corneo please Cup. enter from the right please and contenders from the left. Up and like a Coliseum tournament. What's this? You're here to compete? <laughs> I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. go you think I wonder how many people are fighting hey you're not nervous are you nope really you're even more quiet than usual just trying to focus like you should In the city! 
city that never sleeps. In the paradise of debauchery, it's in the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. Oh, Marcus. For you as Dean Connors of the chaos and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcome. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart and beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum! Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gold, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents! Thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit blood. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the skill and the glory. And now, the long awaited event in which the blood star beast will battle for your amusement in the corner! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes! And tonight, Corneo Time! This place is really something. You two, wait here until it's time. <laughs> uh, it's not your turn yet. Your names will be announced over the speaker. Just wait until then. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know? So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. Cloud and Aerith, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. You two ready? Try not to get yourselves killed. We welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! This is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! One of Walmart's own, a renowned master of beasts. Will his pets make a meal of our two challengers before our very eyes? They've already been given their appetizers. Their hunger for flesh and fear is unquenchable. The demon dogs of hell, the Penguin Stalkers! No free beast! You brought animals? Oh, first timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now! Get him! <laughs> Going in. <laughs> It's over. Can you believe it? I don't think anyone saw this coming! What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are Cloud and Eren! Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. 
Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Well, that was some bullshit. That's what they call beginner's luck. But the next match won't be so easy. Ready to rock? Just remember, try not to die. For the second match in our spectacular semifinals, fresh from their first day with death, I present the lucky couple. We're like unlucky for the rest of us. Give it up once again for Cloud and Eric. For common criminals, the worst of the worst. Ladies and gentlemen, check their pockets because they may have already robbed you blind. The most contemptible sons of bitches in town of Wall Market, Bex
It was two against, uh, I don't remember how many exactly, but a lot! But somehow, the winners of our match are... Once again, Cloud and Aaron! That kid's really something. Well, of course he is. I did give him a massage, you know. His palm told quite the tale. He's cheated death more than a few times. Hmm. So have half the people in this town. Anyway, we're both still alive. Call him. <sighs> there you go again. One of these days, your luck is going to run out. When I fall from grace, maybe I'll land in your parlor once more. That is one mistake I will never repeat. <laughs> you gotta admit, Andy, the way he moves is totally amazing! Andy! <sighs> Next up, the big finale. Yeah. I thought you'd be happier. Just thinking about what we might face next. But you know, we've made it this far. I'm sure we can handle anything they throw at us. Cloud and Aerith. The final match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Man, you proved me wrong. You guys are pretty good. It's the final match. You good to go? I've got a lot of money riding on you two. Win it for me. Ladies and gentlemen, our time together is almost over. Tonight's thrilling Corneo Cup, filled with unprecedented upsets and drama, has only one match to go. <laughs> We know. We're just as disappointed as you are. But ladies and gentlemen, all good things must come to an end. So let's celebrate by getting so damn loud, they'll hear us up on the plane! Yeah! Come on! Once more, the sweethearts who surprise us with upset after spectacular upset. The power couple with the boundless love for bloodshed. The champions of Madame M, Cloud, and Eric! <laughs> yeah! Come on now! Come on! Who can do better than that? And now, five time winners of the Corneo Cup! Murder machines with countless kills to their name! Along with a handful of maimings! The deadly duel that takes up the trash with a bum of vengeance! The electric executioners! Chocobo Sam's champions! Cutty and Sleepy! Come on now! Robots? More like shimmer armor. More like cheating! <laughs> Who will walk away with a one million kill prize? Get ready for a fight guaranteed to go down in history! The final match of the Corneo Cup begins now!
Brace yourself. Taking this rather well. I was looking forward to a little temper tantrum. You bet it all on a toss. Sometimes you get burned by Lady Luck. Every coin has two sides. You're right, of course, even if they are both the same. Later. And now. I believe I have a prize to collect. Sorry. The madam will have to wait. The Don's demanding that we tack on one more match, it seems. What? If they win out, then you get paid in full. Now hold on just a goddamn minute! His call, not mine. <laughs> now that that's over, we can go save Tifa. So we'll head back to Madam M's, get you changed, and then it's off to Corneo's. Right. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you still have one fight left. What do you mean? The crowd loved your show a little too much. People are placing hefty bets, much heftier than you can possibly imagine. Corneo's going to milk this for as much as he can. Meaning what? You face and defeat Corneo's fighter of choice, and only then will you be declared winners of the tournament. Hey, that wasn't the deal. Don't you think I know that? Ah! You greedy bastard, scum-sucking piece of shit festering asshole! Uh... <sighs> but that's the way it is. Corneo's the one who makes the rules around here. But if you win this match, Corneo will have to accept your victory. And the crowd will make sure he does. So this is the last one? I sure hope so. I've been working here a long time, but this has never happened before. It's gonna be one hell of a match. Watching you guys fight gave me goosebumps. Hope your next match is even better than the last. Ready to kick ass? It's not even about the money anymore, man. I just want you guys to win it all. Show them what you got. Tonight's Corneo Cup has been a spectacle like no other. And we shared your disappointment, ladies and gentlemen, when we told you that it was coming to an end. But nobody felt it more keenly than one time Corneo, who has decided that a bonus match is in order. Participating in this match. 
match will be this evening's leading lights, the dynamic duo that has crushed all competition thus far, Cloud and Aaron! Buried in the bowels of the Coliseum. An unspeakable horror, long in prison, set free tonight for your entertainment! The secret star of Don Corneo's stellar stable! Enter the Hell House! Huh? It's just... a house. It's no ordinary house. The manifestation of pure evil versus the most badass couple this side of Midgar! Have you ever seen a fight more incredible, more epic? You have not! No, sir, you have not! They'll be singing songs about tonight for generations to come! Keep your eyes glued to the action, ladies and gentlemen! The Cup's fight, final battle, begins now! All the battles are over, and all right, I can tell you the first bonus guys will not get the point! This is the best part of the the music of the name. The camera has the horror of the hell house! Who will come out on top?
Do your thing. We have a special guest that wants to kick things up a notch. But don't get too close. You can't handle him. Feel that raging fire. What do you think, folks? Cut the hell out of the water.
in some way. What will you do?
There you are. I've been looking for you two. So Madam M wanted me to give you a message. She says you guys did pretty damn good and that you should swing by her shop when you're done here. Got it? I was also hoping you might be interested in a few more matches here at the Coliseum. Big events like the Corneo Cup are pretty sporadic, but there's always action if you want to get a piece. You're here. Good. I have everything I need to get started. Just one thing before we do. You're the Cloud, right? Cloud the Merc? <laughs> well, that's what you call yourself, I'm told. But what have you actually done for the people of Sector 5, hmm? There's this little thing called karma. How a person treats others dictates how they themselves should be treated. And believe me, I'll get you the dress that you earned. All right, now that that's out of the way, once you change, you won't be able to leave town. Are you sure you're ready? All right then, let's get started. Beauty takes a lot of work and preparation, far more than you'd know. In the meantime, let me see, let me think. There ought to be things you can only do without your friend. Now's your chance to get out and have some fun. <laughs> I can tell you're already beginning to feel at home here. Though being so new to it, I assumed you still wouldn't know how to enjoy yourself properly. <laughs> so I went and had a chat with Sam. He said he'd be happy to help you out. Hey, no one asked you to do that. But there's so much you don't know. This is the perfect opportunity for you to learn the ways of the world and man the hell up. And that's enough of that. Eric, come with me. Oh boy, I can't wait to see the dress. The dress is part of it, sure. But we'll also need to do something about that plain Jane makeup and hairdo. This is gonna take some work. Ouch. Well, I'll see you later, Cloud. Peek, and I'll poke out your eyes. said you'd be swinging by. Let me see if I've got this straight. You ditched your lady friend and fellow champion to have a boys' night out in Wall Market? Uh. Kidding. If I know the madam, and I do, this was all her idea. I can see why. There's no denying you're skilled with a sword. But when it comes to damn near anything else, well, can't help but have my doubts. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But then there's nothing wrong with expanding your horizons, neither. Seeking new experiences. Knowing the ways of this here world will help you to better protect her while you're in it. Reckon I got a few solid gigs for you. What do you say? You game? Huh. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> That's the spirit. You have yourself a grand time tonight, Mr. Merck. Oh, there it is! 
Never seen you before. Wow, we've been waiting for you to show up. Thanks for coming, and welcome to our humble training hall. Jules, head trainer. If you've got some time to spare, how about a little bit of fun? Want to try taking on one of our guys? <laughs> You're not serious, are you? Look at him. He's a scrawny little thing. I could snap him like a twig. Now, now. I wouldn't judge this one by his muscle mass. What do you say, Cloud? If you want to give it a go, just let me know. Endurance and determination. That's what counts. Dried up old Terpsichore left out in the sun. You got no idea what you're getting into, little man. All right, enough talk. We'll settle this the tried and true traditional way a squat off. Now, let's all see what you've got. You ready to do this? people by their build. That and your overtrained ego are the main reasons you lost to our bold challenger here. Thanks for helping me teach my boys a valuable lesson. And sorry for dragging you into it. Cloud, we're all one big family here at this gym. And now you're part of it. If you're ever up for training, our doors are always open to you. Let's work together to maintain healthy minds and bodies. Yeah! 
Man half is one. The more you eat, the <laughs> There's nothing more fun. Welcome. Anything in particular you're looking for? Oh, you must be the Merc I've been hearing about. I need you to help me out with my dad. His drunk ass has been at the bar for hours now. Could you bring him back here? He's probably three sheets in over at Drunkard's. <laughs> Just over there. Caught me up on everything. He said you're gonna go rescue Tifa. And to do that, you're trying to learn all about Wall Market. Bro, I know this town like the back of my hand, so I can answer all of your questions. Now, let's go knock this one out. The bar is this way, Cloud. Drunkards, here we come. Uh, are we even allowed, allowed to walk through the door? Like this is the Drunkards Den, the best place in Wall Market to drink away your problems. It's mostly the same folks every night, so... Whoa, you can't just waltz in there uninvited. this kind of... Hey, wait for me! It's a hard lesson, but one you have to learn. Thank you! I signed with Shina Records a while back, but I'm still looking for my first big hit. It's been seven years now. Not easy, but you gotta do what you love. And I love to sing. This is a new song of mine. Maybe it'll be that number one. Not enjoying life up on the plate? It's fine, I suppose. I'm pretty good, you know. Hey, old dude! Huh? Son, is that you? Did you always look so moronic? Well, right back at you. Yeah, whatever. We're here to take you back to the store. I'm not going back! Not ever! My life is ruined! It's over! Kill me now! Come on, there's no need to talk like that, old dude. I'll help you out with whatever you need. Really? Oh, thank you, son! See, I made this bet with the Materia Merchant. A sure thing! But then I lost! And so I had no choice but to steal my heart and surrender my precious inspiration! Your precious insp- who with the what now? Inspiration! <laughs> Without it, there's simply no point in me ever going back to the store. Got it. I mean, I don't got it, but I just need to get your inspiration back, right? Whatever the hell that is. Leave it to me, old dude. Uh, hey, aren't you gonna go with your friend? Just one. The more you eat, the better they get. Red chocolate. Out of curiosity. I'm spread even lovely with chocolate. Hershey. It's stronger than you do.
I don't even really know how people use Mateo. Hey, wait for me! Hmm. So this is it, huh? And what do you two want? Uh, uh, I'm here for the precious inspiration you took from the old dude. Inspiration? Oh, that thing. But I didn't take it. I want it fair and square. It's mine by rights now. Well, that's true. But I tell you what. I'll consider giving it back in exchange for... a favor. Uh, what you need? Something only... real men can deliver. Uh. I need you to go and get me something from the vending machine at the end. You know what. You know. No, I don't think I... Wait, the sauce. The sauce? Stop saying the sauce. Anyway, good luck. The time has come for me to wield my powers of assessment. I can feel it. Oh, I can feel it. I'm in for one wild run. I'm gonna see some weird Step right up. Tonight. Step right up. I have the perfect room for the both of you. Oh, you know, so you do it. Huh? No, 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 we're not here for that. Say what? If you don't need a room, then what the hell do you want? That old weapons vendor is a total weirdo. Friend, grab a seat. Any seat that's open. Hey, are you really leaving me out here? You need me. You need my knowledge and expertise. Doctor. That's it. That's the one. It looks like a regular old vending machine, right? But wait! <laughs> you ready for this? All right. This particular model has secret buttons. Where? Well, I can't tell you. It's a secret. You just need to tap into your knowledge and expertise. Like, grab it and whip it out. And then you'll be able to see everything. I don't need to whip it out. I've done this before. Watch this. Whoa, look at you, bro. Huh? Is this the sauce? I don't know. You're a winner! Have a prize! Shit, that scared me. Well, we've done what we said we would. Let's go back and talk to the guy. to be a champ. So, where is yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the world of tomorrow. I this is... Come on, bro, hurry up! <laughs> Let's show him what we brought back from our little trip into the wheel. Oh! It's you two. It's time, bro. The sauce. Huh? What's this thing? Shit. That's not the sauce. Boys, it seems I misjudged you. Sorry for making you go to all this trouble for nothing. Don't worry. There's still time for you to learn and grow as men. Oh, uh, well. If there's anything else we can do, let us know. All right. Hate to break it to you, but that thing you were looking for... Not here. It's long, long gone. Shitting me? Nope. Sorry. As I recall, the guy who runs the restaurant should have it. Ugh. Well, I guess.
Guess we know where we're headed next. Come on, bro. Well, that's that. Time to polish the old orbs. Give them a spit shine so they positively sparkle. Hey, if you're done here, then get going already. Restaurant up next, huh? Getting kind of hungry, actually. Hold on. Busy day, huh? Coming from over there. What do you think about it, Chris? any open seats sorry we're not here to eat the materia guy gave you something yeah we want it materia guy oh you hear about that I'm surprised didn't take you for the type let me ask you something either of you know anything about cooking nope never cooked once that's too bad for some reason my food doesn't taste nearly as good as it used to I was hoping one of you two might be able to help me figure it out I've narrowed it down to the fridge, the stove, or the power supply, but I'm not sure what's to blame. Man, I seriously have no idea what it could be. This sucks. You know, I think the problem could be faulty wiring. Look around you, this place is falling apart. Hold on, you know a thing or two about electrical wiring? Great, that stuff's serious business. If you're right about this, my beloved restaurant could be a ticking time bomb waiting to explode. Let me take a closer look. On closer inspection, it honestly looks fine to me. I'm not seeing anything that might be problematic. Here, eat up. Man, this looks great. What a shame. He seemed to be enjoying me, so I wanted to ask him what he thought. Maybe next time. Anyway, thanks for your help. Oh, and here's a voucher with my apologies. Get the poor guy some medicine, will you? Drugs. I need all the drugs right now. Eat them two at a time and they're right I'm telling you, folks, you ain't never seen frozen treats like this. That Merc won the quiz. Hey, off my doorstep here. Hey, you, this yours? Well, oh, that about you you got there? Could have said something sooner. Come on in. What is it with today? People are dropping like flies. Besides this dumbass. Yeah, loads of them. I got enough outstanding orders to fill a book. I was about to leave and make some deliveries, but... Oh, I'm gonna hurl. Yeah, I can't very well leave them alone now, can I? Hey, you're not doing much. Maybe you can deliver that medicine for me. You're, what, military or something, right? Then you must know a thing or two about dealing with the sick and injured. You're a lifesaver, literally. So, let me see, what needs delivery? Here, need you to deliver this to someone. 
You'll probably find this guy sprawled out on the ground somewhere. But make sure you check his symptoms before giving him meds. If I had to guess where a sick person ends up, I'd say the toilet. Start by checking those. Maybe ones in the shops nearby? If I had to guess where a sick person would end up, I'd say the toilet. Start by maybe ones in the shops nearby. Pretty rowdy. So weird. I think 
this is where they sent to me? Too good for my Lazy hedonist. I think this is where they sit. Son of a bitch puts poison in his food. I've got meds. Let me take a look at you. Thanks, buddy. Oh, you saved my life. Here. It's not much, but it's yours. No. Oh, I'm grateful for your help, but do you think a guy could get a little privacy? Probably head back. Yes! Okay. 
I saw the new Coliseum Jam. Down in Sacred And then there was this crazy looking house, right? And it was all like trying to kill him. But then Cloud was all like, beep, bam, boom! Your friend fought a house. A house? Oh, hey! Welcome back, bro! Better already? Yeah, now he won't shut up. Anyway, how'd the deliveries go? I did about as much as I could. Thanks for the help. And great work. Anyway, I promise to be worth your while. Here, I got something you're definitely gonna like. What is it? Well, it belonged to the owner of the clothing store first. Heard from the cook that you boys been running all over town looking for this. Am I right? Wait, we have? Hold up. What were we doing before all this? Oh, shit! The inspiration! Bingo! You see, all us wall market entrepreneurs go way back. We get together for a game every night, bet all kinds of stuff. This found its way into the pool and eventually into my possession, and now it's yours, because, hey, why the hell not? It's a VIP card, highly coveted and extremely rare. They're only given to a select few. Not having it is gonna do you much good, but... Holy mother of... No way! Bro, we gotta get to the honey... Er, I, I, I mean, drunkards on the double! Tell the old man I said hi! Oh, boy, yeah, boy. Is that what I think it is? Oh, you bet it is, and it was hard won. I sewed dresses day and night for those ladies until I got what I was after. A Honeybee Inn VIP card! I knew it! Now make way for the VIP, boys. I don't want to keep my ladies waiting any longer. But first, I should pick up a gift dress. Lead the way, old dude, we are coming! for bringing him back. Can't imagine what you went through. Here, you earned it. Hey, you're coming, right, bro? Get ready for a real wall market education. I'm done with this. You, you can do whatever the hell you want. I get it, bro. You're scared. It's only natural for people to fear the unknown. Uh. It's a pity you're not gonna join us, but I swear to you, bro. As an aspiring wall market connoisseur, I'm gonna go in there and get as much inspiration as I can handle. For you, bro. For you. Because, Cloud, you are my one true bro. Honeybee in, here I come! Inspiration, here I come! <sighs> Perfect example of how age has absolutely nothing to do with maturity. Couldn't agree more. Should probably go see Sam again.
Hey, I'm talking to you. I said they're good. I think this is where they said to be. She's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like... How'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. Wait, wait, get your doors, you know? I really wish we could be just like you. My problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart, stand-up guy like myself? No. Oh, come on, bro! Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh... I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. anything more I could have done with it, but... Doesn't really matter if you get picked or not anyway. Yeah, but still... You put a lot of work into this. Did you put a lot of work into this? Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh?
Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed tonight? Hard pass. Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. At her. I was looking to confirm what I already knew. There is no one hotter than you. Oh, hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? Hey, I've done it again. Spent my whole paycheck. Mm. Mm. I give her a That dress is completely overshadowing her. She's got a lot to learn. Why are we here? To see the honeybee inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? And that is the end of Andrea Rodea's show. So, you a top five? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Andrea shows transcend beauty and entertainment. I've tripped over this moment. The honeybee oh. And here's the man of the hour! Chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. This is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here. Come on now. Hey, hold on. Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. <laughs> Take it away.
You've got real rhythm, mister. Move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. The show's about to start. <laughs> My, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Mm. Darling, I had no idea. <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Aw, oh, he's flushing. <laughs> Welcome to the Honeybee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval. I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Follow my lead.
Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. That show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me! I could dance too. How much did you drink Just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was a amazing. Drink. Talk. Was it planned from the start? Probably not. Oh, Did you see wow. their look of surprise? Now that was a show. Cloud? Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello? Please don't. Not a word. But one. Not even one? No! But you're so pretty. No way. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madame M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Hey, hands to yourself! That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Room's at the end. Keep walking. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh, 
Come on. Damn it. Cloud. I know, thank you. Moving on. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. Hey, Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith, a friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks. Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? Thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized, I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Tonight's audition's about to begin. Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? the dog. familiar. We haven't met before, have we? 
Uh, whatever. All right! Y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. Oh, yeah. Leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah we! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Corneo! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Wait. Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's here, right? Better hurry. Better hurry. Man, I'd love to spend some quality time with girls like that. Bet they're going at it right now. Lucky
What are you doing here? Hey, can't you do the reset? This one's for you! Get him! I'm better than ever! In you! One more! Shot! My head hurts. This thing is over. That's the way to do it. <laughs> Don't stop! Tell me what you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes! <laughs> oh. 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 So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. <sighs> Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid. You know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Hmm. <laughs> when they think they've already won, right? Ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a winner! You get an all-expenses-paid trip to the sewers. <laughs> 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 Enjoy the sights and smells! <laughs> are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. This 
stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <laughs> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Aerith. Cloud. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. Bring it on! 